Hi everyone, Sarah Abral here. So what I want to talk to you today about is strength training. If you want to add strength training into your lifestyle, if you already do strength training and you just want to make sure you're doing it right and getting the most benefit for it, or if you just wanted to try something new, then here's what I have to say to you. So as I was training for my personal training certifications and license, Learning through ACE, the American Council of Exercise, uh, it is recommended for an average healthy adult to incorporate strength training into their, their um, regimen about two to three times a week. So here's what I'm going to talk to you about. We're going to talk about reps and sets and rest, and we're going to talk about the recommendations, and we're also going to talk about um, the progressive principle of resistance training and frequency, how much time you need to rest, all right, so that you feel well equipped to be able to implement strength training into your daily life. So first off, we're going to just talk about reps. What we say when we mean reps as trainers is repetitions. It's how many times you complete an exercise. So if you're going to do a bicep curl, how many times are you focusing on the concentric and eccentric? One time is one repetition. Second thing is sets. What a set is is just a chunked group of repetitions. So if you're doing, say, 10 bicep curls, 10 reps, you complete those 10, that makes one set. All right? So you can do a couple different ones. One to three doesn't matter, but one set is completing the amount of repetitions that you need one time through. All right? And then the next thing is intensity. So if you wanted to measure intensity, if you're doing cardio, it's based on speed. If you're doing strength training, then it's going to be based on your load, your weight. So if you want to increase your intensity, you're just going to increase your weight. Add more pounds, add more kilograms, depending on where you are. So getting into the requirements and the recommendations for strength training, ACE recommends that you complete, the healthy average adults completes 8 to 12 repetitions of an exercise. All right? And so if I'm doing that bicep curl, I'm going to do it eight, tw 8 times up to 12 times with 1 to 3 sets. So 8 to 12 repetitions, 1 to 3 sets. Okay? And you want to complete it. A lot of times you don't know how intense you need to be going. So remember that you want to be working at 70 to 80% of your maximum. So imagine that you're at 100%, that you could only lift a weight one time and you could only complete it one time through. That's your 100% max. Whatever that amount of weight is or whatever, whatever that means to you, keep that in mind while you're deducting 20 to 30% to be in the range of 70 to 80% of your max. And that if you are there, then you should only be able to complete about eight to 12 repetitions. All right, so if you're doing three sets, two or three sets, you wanna make sure that you rest about one to three minutes between the sets. So you complete, say, 10 repetitions, of a bicep curl, you complete it one time, that's one set completed, so you wait another minute before you get back to the second set, all right? And then you complete it again, and if you're going for three sets, you wait one more minute, and then get back to that third set and complete all three sets, all of your repetitions, with one to three minutes of rest between each one. So how do you determine if you wanna do one two or three sets, it's up to you because research studies have shown that there are similar, very comparable results of adding strength, strength gains with one, two, and three sets. So really it's up to you. However, here's the thing. If you want to only do one set, you're going to do a single set, you do want to be at that 80% range. You want to be at the level that's so high that once you've completed all of the repetitions, you get to the point of what's called momentary muscle failure. So you, essentially, it's so difficult to complete that last repetition, that last one, 
that your muscle is at a point of momentary muscle failure where it can hardly get back up and if you had to do one more you wouldn't be able to complete it you wouldn't do full range of motion you'd maybe stop here or get here so if you're doing your single set just one set keep in mind the principle of momentary muscle failure and that's where you want to be if you're just doing one set if you're doing three sets you don't need to get there the first rep or that first set you don't need it but you do want to keep in mind that it's nice to get there towards that last and third set towards the very last repetitions you want to feel as though you couldn't complete anymore because that's how you know you're done you have fatigued that muscle and you don't need it anymore all right um, second to last we talk about progression so you want to keep in mind that the key to strength development and muscular development is this principle of progressive resistance. So if week one you do your bicep curls, you do 10 repetitions of three sets, and you got to that point of mus momentary muscle fatigue towards that, the end, well, say next week you come in and do the same thing, and you're feeling a little bit stronger, and that when you're completing that first rep, that first set, that you, it's not as difficult as it was before. So if that's the case for you, which it should be, if we're strength training properly, you want to add strength, of course. If that's the case for you, you want to keep in mind the principle of progression. So you want to consistently progress each time you go into that gym. So what you would do is you would increase your weight. If you're doing a dumbbell and say you're lifting five pounds, you want to add a little bit more weight. Try 7.5 pounds this time, perhaps and see if that gives you the same results as it did when you first did it with five pounds. If you get to that momentary muscle failure at the end, all right? Because if you just stick with the same weight, you're not going to progress. And we want to progress. We want to gain strength. We want to be able to see noticeable results, which is why we're doing it. So keep that in mind, the progressive resistance principle. And lastly, we're going to talk about frequency. So if you are incorporating strength training and you're strength training all your muscles in your body, your major muscle groups, you want to make sure that you wait at least 72 hours, three days, before you get back to that muscle that you just worked. So say you're doing, we're stick with the biceps. Say you do bicep curls or biceps, you work your biceps one day. You want to wait one, two, three days before you get back to your biceps because this is going to allow your body and your muscles to properly recover and rebuild. We don't want to cut this process short because what's happening is you are making little micro traumas in that muscle, micro tears, and that temporarily reduces your strength. And that also creates muscle soreness. So what you want to do is you want to give yourself at least a minimum of three days for your muscle to rebuild and recover. So you need to recover, meaning kind of let the muscle come back together because it was torn a little bit, you know. So it needs to come back together and then it needs to rebuild stronger so that next time it works, it can lift that weight without getting torn. So... Most people cut this short, but you don't want to cut it short because then you're really not doing yourself any justice, and then you're also not really getting any progression, and that's what you want. So you're not going to be benefiting as much if you cut this process short, which is why it's recommended to wait about three days, three days before you get back to that same muscle group. And that's really going to allow your muscle to synthesize the proteins that it needs to build up the muscle and get yourself to slightly higher levels of strength. And I'm assuming that's what you want if you're doing this, right? So, again, just to recap, we are going to be doing the recommendations from ACE is 8 to 12 repetitions, 1 to 3 sets. If you're doing 1, you want to get to that point of momentary muscle failure in that first set. And you're going to be doing about 70 to 80% of your maximum. And if you're doing those 3 repetitions, you rest about one minute before you go back to that second rep or second set. Um, and if you are finding that it's the next time you go back that you can do more or you can lift more, then that's what you want because you want to keep in mind progression, progressive resistance, so add more. And 
Before you go back to that same muscle group, you want to allow your muscle about three days to recover and rebuild from the traumas, the tears in that muscle that just happened while you were tra training it. All right? So keep those in mind if you want to add strength training into your life. If you're already doing it, just it's a nice refresher. It's always great to know exactly the recommendations of professionals based on scientific research, just so you know that you're properly doing it right and getting the benefits that you need. So again, I'm Sarah. I am your trainer. I'm your health coach, your lifestyle coach, whatever you want. I'm here for you. And if you want some more information about anything related to health, training, fitness, wellness, nutrition, just like this and write a comment about it and let me know what you want to hear because I'm here for you. All right? So good luck. Let me know how it goes and have a beautiful day training.